First National Bank of Eastern Arkansas is the official bank and premier sponsor of the Seminole Nation. First National Bank of Eastern Arkansas specializes in all your banking needs, including personal banking, online banking, business banking, savings accounts, loans, CDs, and IRAs. Stop by First National Bank of Eastern Arkansas, located at 1460 West Kaiser in Osceola, and see Bank President Greg Grease and Teller Supervisor Taylor Lucius for all your banking needs. First National Bank of Eastern Arkansas is a proud sponsor of the Seminole Nation and Osceola Seminole Athletics. First National Bank of Eastern Arkansas, member FDIC. Opening this fall is Osceola's newest business, Delta Brew Coffee Company. Delta Brew Coffee Company will be locally owned and community oriented. Delta Brew will be located at the corner of West Kaiser and Mockingbird Lane in beautiful Osceola, Arkansas. Delta Brew will have a full menu of coffee including espresso, energy, classics, milkshakes, smoothies, and kids drinks. Delta Brew can't wait to meet all of their customers in Osceola. Delta Brew Coffee is a proud supporter of Osceola Seminole Athletics and the Seminole Nation. Are you thinking about relocating to the Dallas-Fort Worth area in Texas? Do you know someone who wants to relocate? Are you in need of a realtor? If so, contact Anaya Clark for all your real estate needs. You can call or text Anaya at 817-504-2700 or find her on social media at, at Anaya.TheRealtor. Anaya Clark Realtor is a proud sponsor of Osceola Seminole Athletics and the Seminole Nation. Roller Swift Funeral Home of Osceola is a proud sponsor of the Seminole Nation and Osceola Seminole Athletics. Located at 2173 U.S. 61 South, Roller Swift Funeral Home specializes in funeral services and helping families with the costs associated with them. For more information, contact them at 870-563-6578 and speak with David Tucker. Roller Swift Funeral Home, with all our respect. American Greetings wants you to join our team. American Greetings is hiring for all positions for their plant located in Osceola, Arkansas. American Greetings offers competitive wage, 401k options, options for health care benefits, and work-life balance. Interested applicants can apply at americangreetings.jobs or scan the QR code. American Greetings is a proud sponsor of Osceola Seminole Athletics and the Seminole Nation. Dr. Tommy Wagner is a candidate for State Senate District 19. Dr. Wagner is passionate about providing quality health care to our communities. Dr. Wagner has conservative values. Dr. Wagner will be dedicated to helping support educators, wants to help families who struggle in current economic situations, and help with infrastructure improvements in our towns. Dr. Wagner is committed to see our communities grow to improve the lives of families that choose to make Arkansas their home. Vote Dr. Tommy Wagner for State Senate District 19 on March 5th. Dr. Tommy Wagner for State Senate District 19 is a proud supporter of also the Seminole Athletics and the Seminole Nation. The OHS Class of 1979 is a proud supporter of the Seminole Nation and Osceola Seminole Athletics. Class of 1979 extends best wishes to Coach Jamie Carter and the 2023 Seminoles. Class alumni Bobby Chalk, Russell Barker, Ollie Collins, Harold James, Jackie Baker, Maurice Cawthon, Rosa McClendon, Marvin Love, Carla Love, Eddie Slayton, Paul Tucker, Zeb Kelly, Lois Hill, Sharon Kimbrough, Graham Kimbrough, Gina Butler, and Dorothy Marshall extends much success as the Seminoles forge another campaign on the road to the rock. The Class of 1979, none better. The Sandbar Grill is a proud sponsor of the Seminole Nation. The Sandbar Grill is located at 1100 West Kaiser in Osceola and can be reached at 870-563-5700. Sandbar Grill is a family-owned restaurant established in 2007 and features daily lunch specials, certified Angus steaks, seafood, sandwiches, salads, and desserts. Owners Harry and Jeanette Keats are lifelong Osceola residents and welcomes everyone with a smile. The Sandbar Grill is a proud sponsor of Osceola Seminole Athletics. Free For Real Bail Bonds Company says, we get you out of jail fast for real. Free For Real Bail Bonds Company provides quick, fast, and reliable service to their clients who wish to bail their loved ones out of jail to meet their court appearances. We provide services for misdemeanors and felonies with some financing available. Call Mayberry, 763-1999 or 563-1100. You are free for real. Free For Real Bail Bonds Company is a proud supporter of the Seminole Nation and Osceola Seminole Athletics. The Osceola School District is a proud sponsor of the Seminole Nation. The Osceola School District is committed to preparing all students with an equal opportunity to be successful. The Osceola School District is committed to providing an equal opportunity in its educational programs that assure each student of attaining the level of knowledge, skills, ideas, values, and attitudes necessary to achieve the greatest personal development possible. The Osceola School District says, Go Seminole! 
the Viscase Corporation wishes the Seminoles the best of luck this season. Viscase is now hiring for production, engineering, and maintenance positions. Benefits include, but not limited to, medical, dental, and vision insurance, vacation time, and 401k contributions. Viscase has excellent compensation and training programs for advancement. You can apply on Indeed or call 870-563-3541. Become essential with Viscase. Viscase is a proud sponsor of Osula Seminole Athletics and the Seminole Nation. Gary's Pizza, owned by Gary and Billy Ann Hugel, is located at 1275 West Kaiser in Osceola and has been making pizzas since 1984. With over three decades of experience, you can taste the difference experience makes. Gary specializes in creating your own or specialty pizzas, wings and things, sandwiches, calzones, nice variety of starters, and dessert options. Don't forget Gary's also has shaved ice with over 40 flavors. You can dine in, carry out, or get delivery by calling 870-563-0808. Gary's Pizza is a proud supporter of the Seminole Nation. Farm Bureau Insurance Grant Barnett Agent is a proud supporter of Osceola Seminole Athletics. You can call Grant for all your auto, home, and life insurance needs. Farm Bureau also does financing through Farm Bureau Bank. Farm Bureau is located at 3125 West Kaiser in Osceola, and you can reach Grant at 870-563-6561 or 870-316-4212. Farm Bureau Insurance Grant Barnett Agent is a proud sponsor of the Seminole Nation. Have you been feeling off or had the thought your health might be suffering? Please don't ignore the signs and don't wait until it's too late. It's essential to prioritize your health. The Willis Clinic is here to help. The staff members at the Willis Clinic will listen to your concerns. The doctors at the Willis Clinic are easy to speak with and we are committed to doing everything we can to help you with your health care needs. Please give us a call at 870-563-2545 or visit us at 616 West Lee in Osceola, Arkansas. We love keeping you healthy. The Willis Clinic is a proud supporter of the Seminole Nation. Ed Harshman and Harshman Rentals, located at 202 West Johnson in Osceola, can meet all of your residential and storage rental needs. Harshman's has apartments and housing located throughout Osceola and Mississippi County, both furnished and unfurnished, available for rent. You can contact Harshman Rentals at 870-563-3694. Ed Harshman and Harshman Rentals are a proud sponsor of Osceola Seminole Athletics and the Seminole Nation. Mi Piblo Authentic Mexican Restaurant is located at 1720 West Kaiser in Osceola. At Mi Piblo, you can experience the finest Mexican food there is. Mi Piblo is open 10.30 a.m. to 10 p.m. daily and is available for dine-in or carry-out. You can contact Mi Piblo at 870-563-8292. Owner Jose Marquez is an Osceola Seminole alumni and wishes the Osceola Seminoles good luck on the season. Mi Piblo is a proud sponsor of the Seminole Nation and Osceola Seminole Athletics. Bugmobile of Arkansas, located at 408 South Walnut, Noceola, specializes in pest control and termite control for both residential and commercial properties. Owners Oscar and Jade Gonzalez would be happy to come out and give you a free estimate. And you can also contact Bugmobile at 870-563-6811. Bugmobile is a proud sponsor of your Osceola Seminoles and the Seminole Nation. And good evening, Seminole fans, and welcome to another edition of Osceola Pseudo Basketball. My name is Michael Eflin, I am the voice of the Seminoles, and it is basketball time in the palace as your Osceola Seminoles take on the Piggott Mohawks conference action here tonight from Seminole Arena. Piggott Mohawks are coached by Scott Dodd, he's second season at Piggott. 0-12 on the season, folks, looking for their first win here tonight. 0-4 in conference, conference foe out of the 3A-3. Their losses come to Corning 54-17, Manila 7-38, Harrisburg 62-42, and Rivercrest 77-18. Hey, last season Piggott was 11-6 on the season, 4-10 in conference. They are currently 0-6 at home, 0-6 on the road, 0-0 on the neutral site, scoring 390 points on the season, giving up 768. 12 game losing streak for the Piggott Mohawks. Folks, uh, they're going to look for a, a lot of different players here uh, to help them out. Coach Dodd uh, um, is going to is going to try to do all they can to try to get their first win against your Seminoles uh, here tonight. I tell you, it's going to be a it's going to be an uphill battle. Uh, they are still trying to learn a little bit about what's going on. 
Um, and it's going to be tough, I'm just going to tell you, to come down here to Osceola and uh, try to knock off a team that's playing very, very well as of late. Uh, speaking of your Osceola Seminoles, uh, they are coached by Bryant Base Moore, second season at Osceola. 8 and 11 overall right now, folks. 2 and 1 in conference, 3 8 3 conference. Our conference wins comes to Harrisburg, 67 45, and Gosnell, 82 60. Lone loss in the conference comes to Corning, 74 62. Last year, your Seminoles were 14 and 7 overall, 9 and 3 in conference. 3 8 2 regional champions last year, lost in the first round of the state tournament to Riverview. 67-53. Some of those currently are 5-3 and three at home, 3-6 three and six on the road, 0-2 on a neutral site, scoring 1,133 points on the season, giving up 1,245. Five-game winning streak for your Osceola Seminoles, and we talked about it uh, early on when we're taking them lumps against uh, the bigger teams in the tournaments we were playing. We told you uh, what you wanted to do is get this thing clicking as the time conference rolls around. Uh, right now, your Seminoles are playing very, very good basketball. Playing very under control. Uh, they're playing, they're well prepared, giving a lot of effort, and um, that's exactly what you want. And I'm telling you folks, I've told you over and over again, do not let that record fool you. These Seminoles are gonna be deadly. I'm just telling you. Players to watch for your Seminoles tonight is our superstar, number three, Richard High, 6'2", 160 senior. Folks, he had 25 points in that big win against uh, Bergman the other night. Uh, he's a very good shooter from the outside, gives you a lot of length down low. He hustles up and down the floor. Uh, just a very good kid all the way around. Also watch number 12, Jerry and Long, 6'3", 200 junior. Folks, I, I don't know what to say any more about Jerry than what I've told you already. He can flat out, down low, control every aspect of being a big man. He's got great, great vision. He's got great moves down low. He's very, very good around the basket. And he can also step outside if you need him and hit the shot. Uh, he's uh, just very good all the way around and he gets better every every game. 27 points in the night against Bergman. Just a huge game for him. Uh, we'll also watch um, number 13, Jeremiah Jacobs, 5'8", 175, junior. Folks, he plays the game the right way. Very detail-oriented, plays hard, uh, works real hard without the basketball to make sure he's in position to get rebounds or steal the basketball. He's just a very, very good basketball player with a very good high IQ. Uh, he, he will play big for us here tonight. And then also number two, Tyler Bell, 6'165", sophomore, folks. Um, Tyler plays with a lot of energy. He can shoot it from the outside. Uh, he's very smart when it comes to the basketball game, and uh, he can he can do a lot of things to help you, um, and that's what we need. Uh, that's something that, that he'll be a big role that he'll give us, and we need him to be in that role. Again, plays very well. He's very smart, very smart with the basketball, and uh, we need him to be big here tonight. Uh, folks, we're going to be without uh, Donovan Littleton here tonight. Uh, he is not in uniform, and also M.J. Washington, who turned his ankle the other night against Bergman. I believe I'm hearing that we're keeping him out as a just as a precaution that he will be able to go in our next game on Friday. So I want to give a shout-out to the 7th uh, grade. Uh, uh, Coach Tracy uh, in the 7th grade beat Piggy tonight 32-16. to Coach Howard in the junior high team. Uh, beat uh, the junior high from Piggott, 57 to 24. So, two good wins for them here tonight, and uh, things are just going exactly the way OCL wants them to go right now. Uh, don't forget the other night, big big game against Bergman, and OCL beat uh, Bergman by 18 points here in the Palace on Friday night. So, I mean, you just got to think about that, folks. Uh, Bergman is a uh, got a lot of lot of lot of lot of, lot of rankings. Got them at number. Number three, a lot of them got them number five. Osceola's not even ranked. You beat a team like that by 18 on your home floor. Uh, let uh, some of them people that, that do them uh, do them stats or do them rankings. They better look a little closer. Rankings mean nothing in my opinion. It's about who's playing good basketball at the right time. Conference schedule, how you finish in the conference will give you all the ranking that you need. I want to thank our sponsors, folks. 
without our sponsors, this could not happen. Eight, uh, we got eight minutes worth of sponsors. It is unbelievable, and I appreciate our sponsors so, so much. Without them, this does not happen. Uh, again, the uh, reason why we're able to, uh, to broadcast all these games is because of our sponsors. And we appreciate them so much. Folks, if you're watching on the Seminole Nation Facebook play page, please like our page, share our page, if you will. Uh, that way you'll know every time that the Seminole Nation is live. And if you're on YouTube, please subscribe to our channel. That'll help us out so much. Subscribe, hit that little notification bell. That way you'll know every time that the Seminole Nation is live. We appreciate that. Going to have the starting lineups here in just a second. Uh, referees are at the scores table right now. Just making sure the books look good, make sure everybody's in, you know, all that good stuff right there. So we're all, it's almost time for basketball here. Folks, next game for us will be on uh, Friday. Friday, as we travel to Rivercrest. Big, big game on Friday night down at Rivercrest, starting at 5 o'clock. Seminole Nation will have the live stream of the Senior High Boys game. And your Senior High Seminole. Meet the starting lineups first for the Piggott Mohawks. We'll start with number 20, William Lucas, 6'3", 255, uh, junior. Also, Also number 22, Cole Jones. Number two, Skyler Raymer. Number four, Caden Scudder. And number 10, Keegan Scudder. Now now let's meet the starting lineup for your old seal, the Seminoles. Start with number 13, Jeremiah Jacobs, 5'8", 175, junior. Also, number 24, Anthony Brown, sophomore. Also, number 12, Jerry and Long, 6'3", 200, Junior. And number three, Richard High, 6'2", 160, Senior Captain for your OCL Seminoles. And number 32, 6'3", 200, forward, and Tavion Cotton gets the start here tonight for Osceola. The Osceola Seminoles are coached by Bryant Basemore in his second season at Osceola. Eight minutes. Everybody knows what time it is. Folks, it is time. It is time. It is time for Osceola Seminole basketball here in the Palace of Northeast Arkansas Seminole Arena. Conference action, your Seminoles and the Mohawks. Seminoles in all white. White tops, white bottoms, purple letters. Outline in that purple and gold trim. The Mohawks are going to be in maroon tops, maroon bottoms with the kind of the grayish outline and grayish numbers. Cole James is going to jump for the Pickett Mohawks. Richard High for your Seminoles, folks. Here we go. From the Palace. And Osilla has a tip. Jerry Long on the right elbow. He's going to look to drive. To his left, right down the lane, stops, throws it back out to Richard High. He's going to shoot the three-point shot. Back iron, no good. There's Jeremiah Jacobs. Try, he's going to save it off of a uh, Mohawk player, and it's going to belong back to Osceola. Okay, good look right there for Richard High. Just couldn't get it to go down. Get it inside to Jerry and Long. He turns, knocked away, and it's going to be a steal. Steal by the Mohawks. Raymer across the timeline for the Mohawks. He's on the left elbow. They're going to spread the floor. Throws it down in the corner. It's a good pass and almost uh, gets it inside, but there's a steal by Cotton. Cotton's going to throw it to Richard High. Richard High is going to look for the shot back to Cotton. 
Cotton back to Richard High. He thought about the three. Now he's going to drive back. Uh, nope, he's going to take one from the free throw line. In and out, no good. Rebound comes to the Mohawks. Seminoles 0-2 uh, on their first two possessions down the floor. Caden Scudder across the timeline. He's got it top of the key. Throws it over to Raymer. Raymer's going to be on the left elbow. Gets it to the uh, top of the key now. Throws it down low to the block. That's what they want to do is get it down low, and it's blocked. Blocked by uh, Jerry and Long. Here comes Richard High. Richard High right down the lane with the right hand, lays it up and good. First two points of the night goes to Richard High on the layup. Caden Scudder is going to walk it up the floor for the Mohawks. He dribbles to his right. Now he's going to look to drive. Throws it to a, a man going down the lane, misses the shot. Battle for the rebound, and it's going to be a foul. Jeremiah Jacobs is going to pick up his first foul, team first. Hey, you got to give credit right there to William Lucas, playing hard for the Mohawks down low. They get it into Lucas. He shoots a three-point shot in and out. No good. Jacobs has the rebound, and here he comes. Right across the timeline to the three-point line over to Richard High. Thought about it. Now A.J. Brown back to Richard High. Cotton on the right elbow. He thought about it. Now he throws it down on the, on the block. Throws it inside to Jacobs. Jacobs going to try to put it up. No good. But there's Jerry and Long with the cleanup. Lays it up off the glass and good. 4-0 Osceola right now early on. Six minutes left in his first quarter. Setting the offense up for the Mohawks. Seminoles playing a man-to-man. Matchup man-to-man. Throws it inside. Misses the shot. Osceola's got the rebound. Long to the three-point line. Now he's going to back down. Throws it out to Jeremiah Jacobs. He's going to shoot the three-pointer. Back iron no good. And it's going to go out of bounds off of Osceola. And it's going to belong to Piggott. Caden Scudder walks it across the timeline. Throws it over to Raymer. Raymer right down to, uh, to Lane. Good give and go right there. Easy layup that time for Skyler Raymer. And uh, we, we got a player just going to come in for uh, for Jerry and Long. Brown across the timeline. Two-point lead for Osceola. Now Richard High is going to shoot to three. In and out, no good. There's Jeremiah Jacobs. He gets a good pass inside to, uh, to Keenan Jackson. He lays it off the glass and good. A hey, good pass right there. Good rebound from Jeremiah Jacobs. And an easy layup for Keenan Jackson. Trying to press the man up front. They get it over the top. Almost a steal. I think it's going to get it back. Here comes a three-point shot. In and out again, no good. And there's Jeremiah Jacobs one more time. Gets it up the floor to Richard High. Richard High looks over the defense. In the corner to Brown. And Brown's going to step on the out-of-bound line. And we're going to turn it over. I think it's going to inbound the basketball. Skyler Raymer on the left, left elbow for the Mohawks. A little matchup man to man, and then Raymer's going to go right down the lane. Took about 13 steps, no call. Um, you think there he'd call a foul to call the travel. Didn't get neither one. Cotton on the left elbow. He gives it to Brown. Brown looks, goes down the baseline, got it blocked. Blocked out of bounds by William Lucas for the uh, Mohawks. And again, hey, give, it, give William Lucas credit. Playing big down low. 6'3", 255. Brown, top of the key. Thought about it. Now Cotton. Cotton's going to shoot the three-point shot. It's no good. Rebound comes to Keenan Jackson, though. Lays it up and good. Four points for Keenan on the night. Seminoles have a six-point lead. Free throw line. James. Now he's going to give it back to the 
The big center shoots the three-point shot. That's William Lucas. Good basketball player right there. Plays hard. High on the left elbow. He's going to dribble to his right. Now A.J. Brown's going to shoot the three-pointer. In and out, no good. And the rebound comes to Pickett. Throws it down in the corner and they lose it. Pickett loses it out of bounds. Blown back to Osceola. And I believe uh, Pickett's going to take a timeout. Pickett's going to take a timeout. We'll take a quick timeout with them back after word. First National Bank of Eastern Arkansas. First National Bank of Eastern Arkansas is the official bank and premier sponsor of the Seminole Nation. First National Bank of Eastern Arkansas specializes in all your banking needs, including personal banking, online banking, business banking, savings accounts, loans, CDs, and IRAs. Stop by First National Bank of Eastern Arkansas, located at 1460 West Kaiser in Osceola, and see Bank President Greg Grease and Teller Supervisor Taylor Lucius for all your banking needs. First National Bank of Eastern Arkansas is a proud sponsor of the Seminole Nation and Osceola Seminole Athletics. First National Bank of Eastern Arkansas, member FDIC. And we are back. 2.46 left here in this first quarter. Osceola 8, Pickett 5. Osceola will have the basketball here. Anthony Brown across the timeline with it. Jeremiah's going to take a, a short jumper, and it's good. Jeremiah Jacobs with four on the night. Good little ju jumper for Jeremiah. And that's going to be a backcourt. Went across and came back. You just cannot do that. He did it that time. Jeremiah Jacobs is going to take it out right here in front of our announce table. Anthony Brown over to Richard High. Down on the corner to Jeremiah. Back to Richard High. He's going to take the three-point shot. Good. Richard High, five points on the night. Big three-pointer right there. Folks, you give Richard High time to get his feet set and get that sweet stroke in. It's all day long, I'm just telling you. It flat out good. Flat out do it. Keenan Scudder top of the key. Going to give it to Lucas. Lucas back to the top of the key to Raymer. He's going to shoot the three-point shot. Side iron no good. Keenan Jackson skies for the rebound. Jeremiah thought about going down the lane. Going to reset it. And we're going to have a whistle. Whistle and a foul. I think they're going to get Richard High for that foul. Be his first, uh, team second. Tyler Bell's in the ball game for Osceola, replacing Anthony Brown. Raymer throws it way down low, trying to get it to number 20, Lucas, and just throws it over his head out of bounds. Turnover back to Osceola. Jeremiah Jacobs walks it up the floor for your Seminoles. Eight-point lead for Osceola right now, about a minute 22 left. Cotton, he's going to shoot the three-point shot. Oh, ho, ho, ho! and Tavion Cotton banks the three-pointer in. What a shot. What a shot. Gets his crowd fired up. And we got a whistle and a foul down low. They're going to get Antavion Cotton for his first foul. Team third. Two shots coming for Piggott. Uh, that's number 20, William Lucas. William Lucas on the line of shooting. First free throw is up and good for Lucas. He's going to have one more. 6'3", 255, Junior for the Piggott Mohawks. Misses the second free throw. Keenan Jackson once again skies for that rebound, and here comes Osceola. Big three-pointers up for uh, Jeremiah Jacobs. He misses the shot. That time he kind of rushed the shot, didn't get his uh, feet set. Just pushed it off to the side. Along back to Piggott. 
16 to 6, 10 point lead with 52 seconds left here in this first quarter. Throws it to the three point line. Now they're going to get it right down low. Man, it's wide open. He lays it up or shoots the, sh the short jumper, and it's good. That's Keegan Scudder. Richard High is going to shoot the three point shot. Side iron this time, no good. And it's going to belong back to Piggott. There's a steal. There's a steal by Keenan Jackson. Right down the lane, misses the dunk. Richard High has the rebound, misses that shot, and Piggott's going to have the rebound. Missed opportunity right there to get points for the Seminoles. Into the corner, here comes a three-point shot. Back iron, no good. Richard High's got the rebound. He needs to shoot it, and it's going to be no good from the half-court line. Osceola 16, Piggott 8, take a quick timeout. Let our sponsors get a word in, and we'll be right back. Bowmobile of Arkansas, located at 408 South Walnut, Noceola, specializes in pest control and termite control for both residential and commercial properties. Owners Oscar and Jade Gonzalez would be happy to come out and give you a free estimate. And you can also contact Bugmobile at 870-563-6811. Bugmobile is a proud sponsor of your Osceola Seminoles and the Seminole Nation. Rona Swift Funeral Home of Osceola is a proud sponsor of the Seminole Nation and Osceola Seminole Athletics. Located at 2173 U.S. 61 South, Roller Swift Funeral Home specializes in funeral services and helping families with the costs associated with them. For more information, contact them at 870-563-6578 and speak with David Tucker. Roller Swift Funeral Home, with all our respect. And we are back, start of the second quarter. Osceola 16, Piggott 8. Uh, leading the scores for Osceola, Richard Hyatt's got 5, Kenan Jackson with 4, Jerry and Long with 4. For the Mohawks, William Lucas with four in that first quarter. He leads the scores for Piggott. James on the left elbow. He's going to throw it back top of the key to Maynard. Maynard's in the ball game for Piggott. Free throw line. Knocked away, gets it back. Oh, good pass down on the baseline, lays it up and good. That's Cole James. His first points of the night. Throws it inside. Keenan Jackson misses the shot, gets his own lit, own rebound. And then we got a tie-up. Tie-up is going to belong to Osceola. Cross-court pass to Brown. Throws it to Richard High. Richard High right down the lane, misses the shot, gets his, or gets it knocked away, gets it back, lays it up, and good. Richard High. Scudder, Keenan Scudder. Double team trying to get away, and, and they missed it. We missed the steal. And then we got a whistle and a foul on the Seminoles. Foul is on number four, Keenan Jackson. His first team first of the uh, second quarter. Jackson. Shooting two is uh, Cole James. And he makes the first free throw. And he makes both. Both free throws good by Cole James. Yeah. Osola being patient here. Tyler Bell. Now Richard High thought about the shot. Now he's going to go down the lane. Good patience. Keenan Jackson goes down the lane, misses the shot. We got a whistle on the foul. That's good patience right there for Osceola running their offense. Fouls on number five. That's uh, Casey Maynard. His first team first. First foul tonight for the Mohawks. Two shots coming from Keenan Jackson. Keenan Jackson on the two shots.
Misses the first free throw. He's going to have one more. 6'3", senior. For your Osceola Seminoles. And he misses both. Rebound comes to the Mohawks. They get it across the timeline. It's Maynard top of the key. He tried to get it uh, down low. Osceola steals it. Here comes Osceola. Good layup right there by Tyrese James. James. One thing about Osceola, they're very deep, folks. They can play uh, 15 if they want to. There's another steal. Jeremiah Jacobs to James. James going to take a little short jumper. In and out, no good. But there's Jeremiah Jacobs with the cleanup. Gets his first two of the night. Ten-point lead for Osceola. Going to try to trap one more time. Gives it to Maynard. Gets it down low. Now they're going to reset it. Here comes a three-point shot. Oh, it's good. William Lucas. That is his second three-pointer of the night. He's got seven for the Mohawks. Jacobs running the point. Bell. Ten on the shot clock. Now Bell looks to drive. Right down the lane with the right hand, misses the shot, gets his own rebound, lays it up and good. Tyler Bell. Good job right there by that young man. And there's a steal, Kenan Jackson. And he's going to miss the shot again. Folks, that's twice that he's either thought about Duncan or Duncan. He's missed both of them. And I think they're going to take a timeout. The Osceola School District is a proud sponsor of the Seminole Nation. The Osceola School District is committed to preparing all students with the equal opportunity to be successful. The Osceola School District is committed to providing an equal opportunity in its educational programs that assure each student of attaining the level of knowledge, skills, ideas, values, and attitudes necessary to achieve the greatest personal development possible. The Osceola School District says, Go Seminoles! And we are back. 447 left here in the second quarter. Osceola 24, Pickett 15, nine point lead. And the Mohawks have the basketball. Keenan Scudder across the timeline with it. He's going to drive on the right uh, base, or by the sideline. Almost throws it away. And there's a steal. Tyler Bell right down the lane with the right hand. Lays it up and good. Good job by Tyler Bell right there. 11-point lead for Osceola. And then we got an offensive foul. Offensive fouls on number 22, Cole James. His first, team second. Also, we'll have the basketball. Bell's on the right elbow. Now he looks to going to reset it. Wilkins over to McDay. McDay on the left elbow. Cross court pass to James. James going to drive the baseline, and we've got a whistle on the floor. They say fouls on number. Five, I believe. Yep. Maynard, that's his second. Team third. McDay's going to shoot the three-point shot. Misses the shot. And the rebound comes to Pickett. Good pass to Maynard. He lays it up with the left hand. Easy layup there. Wilkins on the right elbow. He's going to take a long three-pointer. It's good. Good shot right there by Chris Wilkins. And we've got a player for uh, Piggott that's going to have to come off the floor, and they're going to let substitutions in the ball game for that. That's Keegan Scudder. I think he rolled his ankle. He's going to come off the floor.
Good steal inside. McDay was in the right spot there. He gets a steal. Now McDay across the timeline with it. He's going to shoot the three-point shot. Back iron no good. Rebound comes to Osceola. McDay's going to shoot it again. Good. Anthony McDay. Big three-pointer right there. Good stroke. He can flat out shoot it. And let's see. Pickett almost throws it away. They throw it off an of Osceola player, and it's going to belong back to Pickett. He get it in bounds. Thought about the shot. Now they're going to reset it. And we're going to have a carry. Carry with the basketball, and it's going to be a turnover back to your Seminoles. Osceola's extending this lead here against Pickett. Osolo turns it over. Turns it over right down the lane. They missed the shot. McDay has the rebound for the Seminoles, and here comes Tyler Bell. Good pass. Good layup right there. That's uh, number 11. That's Imani Wilkins. Good pass from Tyler Bell, though. Very play, unselfish play right there. Here comes a three-point shot. Misses this time. Bell with the rebound. Here he comes. Gives it up to McDay. McDay thought about going in for the shot. Gets it back to Tyler Bell. Now Tyler Bell down the lane with the right hand. Lays it up and good. Tyler Bell, six points here in this second quarter. Seminoles have blown this one wide open. 36-17 here late in this second quarter. And then we got a 10-second call. 10-second call against uh, Piggott. And Ocell is going to have it back. Keenan Jackson back in the ball game. Here comes Richard High. Oh, so he's going to inbound it. McDay's going to take the three point shot. Back iron, no good. And then we got a whistle and a foul. We'll get Keenan Jackson for that foul. That's his second. Team second. Pick it to have it back. Not a lot of fouls in this ball game. Five for Osceola, three for Pickett. A lot of ball movement for the Mohawks. Right down the lane with the right hand. Misses the shot. Keenan Jackson has the rebound, and here he comes. End to end with the left hand. Lays it up and good. Folks, he got the rebound on one end and took it all the way to the other end and laid it up. Nobody stopped the basketball. Shots missed by the Mohawks. Jackson has the rebound. He throws it up to Richard High. Richard High is going to shoot the three-point shot. Back iron, no good. And it's on the floor. And I think Pickett's going to come out of there with it. He's going to have to reset it. Good pass to the free throw line. They're going to try to drive down low. Turn around, jumpers up and good. That's Caden Scudder. His first points of the night. Richard High is going to drive the lane. And he's going to travel with the basketball. Slid his foot, what he said. I think it's going to have it back. 30 seconds left here. Get it across the timeline. Good pass down low. Lays it off the glass and good. That is uh, Tucker Dunlap. Yeah. 38-21. we got about 10 seconds left here. McDay. Loses the basketball and Pickett's going to have it back. And he's going to travel, but it ain't going to matter because the quarter's going to end. Quarter's going to end, and that's going to be uh, Osceola 38, Pickett 21. We're going to take a timeout, let our sponsors get a word in. Back with the halftime show here in just a second. First National Bank of Eastern Arkansas is the official bank and premier sponsor of the Seminole Nation. First National Bank of Eastern Arkansas specializes in all your banking needs, including personal banking, online banking, business banking, savings accounts, loans, CDs, and IRAs. 
Stop by First National Bank of Eastern Arkansas, located at 1460 West Kaiser in Osceola, and see Bank President Greg Grease and Teller Supervisor Taylor Lucius for all your banking needs. First National Bank of Eastern Arkansas is a proud sponsor of the Seminole Nation and Osceola Seminole Athletics. First National Bank of Eastern Arkansas, member FDIC. Opening this fall is Osceola's newest business, Delta Brew Coffee Company. Delta Brew Coffee Company will be locally owned and community oriented. Delta Brew will be located at the corner of West Kaiser and Mockingbird Lane in beautiful Osceola, Arkansas. Delta Brew will have a full menu of coffee including espresso, energy, classics, milkshakes, smoothies, and kids drinks. Delta Brew can't wait to meet all of their customers in Osceola. Delta Brew Coffee is a proud supporter of Osceola Seminole Athletics and the Seminole Nation. Are you thinking about relocating to the Dallas-Fort Worth area in Texas? Do you know someone who wants to relocate? Are you in need of a realtor? If so, contact Anaya Clark for all your real estate needs. You can call or text Anaya at 817-504-2700 or find her on social media at, at Anaya.TheRealtor. Anaya Clark Realtor is a proud sponsor of Osceola Seminole Athletics and the Seminole Nation. Roller Swift Funeral Home of Osceola is a proud sponsor of the Seminole Nation and Osceola Seminole Athletics. Located at 2173 U.S. 61 South, Roller Swift Funeral Home specializes in funeral services and helping families with the costs associated with them. For more information, contact them at 870-563-6578 and speak with David Tucker. Roller Swift Funeral Home, with all our respect. American Greetings wants you to join our team. American Greetings is hiring for all positions for their plant located in Osceola, Arkansas. American Greetings offers competitive wage, 401k options, options for health care benefits, and work-life balance. Interested applicants can apply at americangreetings.jobs or scan the QR code. American Greetings is a proud sponsor of Osceola Seminole Athletics and the Seminole Nation. Dr. Tommy Wagner is a candidate for State Senate District 19. Dr. Wagner is passionate about providing quality health care to our communities. Dr. Wagner has conservative values. Dr. Wagner will be dedicated to helping support educators, wants to help families who struggle in current economic situations, and help with infrastructure improvements in our towns. Dr. Wagner is committed to see our communities grow to improve the lives of families that choose to make Arkansas their home. Vote Dr. Tommy Wagner for State Senate District 19 on March 5th. Dr. Tommy Wagner for State Senate District 19 is a proud supporter of also the Seminole Athletics and the Seminole Nation. The OHS Class of 1979 is a proud supporter of the Seminole Nation and Osceola Seminole Athletics. Class of 1979 extends best wishes to Coach Jamie Carter and the 2023 Seminoles. Class alumni Bobby Chalk, Russell Barker, Ollie Collins, Harold James, Jackie Baker, Maurice Cawthon, Rosa McClendon, Marvin Love, Carla Love, Eddie Slayton, Paul Tucker, Zeb Kelly, Lois Hill, Sharon Kimbrough, Graham Kimbrough, Gina Butler, and Dorothy Marshall extends much success as the Seminoles forge another campaign on the road to the rock. The Class of 1979, none better. The Sandbar Grill is a proud sponsor of the Seminole Nation. The Sandbar Grill is located at 1100 West Kaiser in Osceola and can be reached at 870-563-5700. Sandbar Grill is a family-owned restaurant established in 2007 and features daily lunch specials, certified Angus steaks, seafood, sandwiches, salads, and desserts. Owners Harry and Jeanette Keats are lifelong Osceola residents and welcomes everyone with a smile. The Sandbar Grill is a proud sponsor of Osceola Seminole Athletics. Free For Real Bail Bonds Company says, we get you out of jail fast for real. Free For Real Bail Bonds Company provides quick, fast, and reliable service to their clients who wish to bail their loved ones out of jail to meet their court appearances. We provide services for misdemeanors and felonies with some financing available. Call Mayberry, 763-1999 or 563-1100. You are free for real. Free For Real Bail Bonds Company is a proud supporter of the Seminole Nation and Osceola Seminole Athletics. The Osceola School District is a proud sponsor of the Seminole Nation. The Osceola School District is committed to preparing all students with an equal opportunity to be successful. The Osceola School District is committed to providing an equal opportunity in its educational programs that assure each student of attaining the level of knowledge, skills, ideas, values, and attitudes necessary to achieve the greatest personal development possible. The Osceola School District says, Go Seminole! The Vizcase Corporation wishes the Seminoles the best of luck this season. Vizcase is now hiring for production, engineering, and maintenance positions. Benefits include, but not limited to, medical, dental, and vision insurance, vacation time, and 401k contributions. Vizcase has excellent compensation and training programs for advancement. 
You can apply on Indeed or call 870-563-3541. Become essential with Biscase. Biscase is a proud sponsor of Osola Seminole Athletics and the Seminole Nation. Gary's Pizza, owned by Gary and Billy Ann Hugel, is located at 1275 West Kaiser in Osceola and has been making pizzas since 1984. With over three decades of experience, you can taste the difference experience makes. Gary specializes in creating your own specialty pizzas, wings and things, sandwiches, calzones, nice variety of starters, and dessert options. Don't forget, Gary's also has shaved ice with over 40 flavors. You can dine in, carry out, or get delivery by calling 870-563-0808. Gary's Pizza is a proud supporter of the Seminole Nation. Farm Bureau Insurance Grant Barnett Agent is a proud supporter of Osceola Seminole Athletics. You can call Grant for all your auto, home, and life insurance needs. Farm Bureau also does financing through Farm Bureau Bank. Farm Bureau is located at 3125 West Kaiser in Osceola, and you can reach Grant at 870-563-6561 or 870-316-4212. Farm Bureau Insurance Grant Barnett Agent is a proud sponsor of the Seminole Nation. Have you been feeling off or had the thought your health might be suffering? Please don't ignore the signs and don't wait until it's too late. It's essential to prioritize your health. The Willis Clinic is here to help. The staff members at the Willis Clinic will listen to your concerns. The doctors at the Willis Clinic are easy to speak with and we are committed to doing everything we can to help you with your health care needs. Please give us a call at 870-563-2545 or visit us at 616 West Lee in Osceola, Arkansas. We love keeping you healthy. The Willis Clinic is a proud supporter of the Seminole Nation. Ed Harshman and Harshman Rentals, located at 202 West Johnson in Osceola, can meet all of your residential and storage rental needs. Harshman's has apartments and housing located throughout Osceola and Mississippi County, both furnished and unfurnished, available for rent. You can contact Harshman Rentals at 870-563-3694. Ed Harshman and Harshman Rentals are a proud sponsor of Osceola Seminole Athletics and the Seminole Nation. Mi Piblo Authentic Mexican Restaurant is located at 1720 West Kaiser in Osceola. At Mi Piblo, you can experience the finest Mexican food there is. Mi Piblo is open 10.30 a.m. to 10 p.m. daily and is available for dine-in or carry-out. You can contact Mi Piblo at 870-563-8292. Owner Jose Marquez is an Osceola Seminole alumni and wishes the Osceola Seminoles good luck on the season. Mi Piblo is a proud sponsor of the Seminole Nation and Osceola Seminole Athletics. Bugmobile of Arkansas, located at 408 South Walnut, Noceola, specializes in pest control and termite control for both residential and commercial properties. Owners Oscar and Jade Gonzalez would be happy to come out and give you a free estimate. And you can also contact Bugmobile at 870-563-6811. Bugmobile is a proud sponsor of your Osceola Seminoles and the Seminole Nation. And we are back. Osceola leading Piggott 38 21 here at the half, start of the third quarter here. Osceola outscores Piggott 16 8 in the first quarter, 22 13 in the second quarter, 38 21. Piggott will have the basketball. Uh, got some halftime stats fair from Miss Smith. We appreciate her so much. Osceola shoots 59%, folks, in the first half. You cannot beat that. 59%. 20 rebounds, 7 assists, 7 uh, steals, only 5 turnovers for Osceola. And uh, one block. So just a great job by Osceola there. Piggott shot 44%. They had eight rebounds. Got a whistle and a foul on the shot here. Cole James will get that foul his second. Team first of the third quarter. Richard High is shooting two. His first is up and good. Richard High led the scoring for Osceola in the first quarter with uh, seven. Bakes both here. Tyler Bell had six there in that first half. Kenan Jackson had six. Quick hands here. Almost a steal. Here comes the three-pointer from Piggott. It's off the back iron. It's no good. And Jeremiah Jacobs with the rebound. He's going to reset it. Twelve turnovers for Piggott in that first half, folks. That's uh, against a good basketball team like Osceola. You cannot turn the basketball over. Three-pointer in the corner is up. And it's no good. Battle for the rebound, and Piggott's going to have it. They 
get it down in the corner, and it's a steal. Steal by uh, Tyler Bell. Good job, Tyler. Coast to coast with the right hand off the glass. No good. Richard Hyde's got the rebound. He puts it up. No good. And we've got a whistle and a foul. Two shots coming from Richard High. Foul's going to be on William Lucas. His first, team second of the third quarter. First free throw is up and good for Richard High. He's going to have one more. Richard High. And he makes both. Four points for Richard High here in the third quarter, all from the free throw line. Motion offense right now for the Mohawks. Matchup man to man for Osceola. And we got a player down. Player down for Piggott. Number 22, Cole James. He's going to have to come out of the ball game for at least a play or two. I think he just fell wrong on the on his back, back of the head there. So we'll sit for a minute. Three-pointer coming from the corner. No good. Rebound comes to Piggott. They lay it up and good. That's Caden Scudder. Richard High thought about the three. Here comes a three-pointer from the side. It's no good. Rebound comes to Osceola. Richard's going to shoot the three here. Good. Richard High. That's seven. Seven points here in this third quarter. And Jeremiah Jacobs steals the basketball. Here comes Richard High again, three on one. Good pass down low, lays it up with the right hand, no good. Rebound comes to the Mohawks. Hey, good look right there for Richard High. Jacob Smith just could not finish there. Jeremiah Jacobs with a steal. Here we go again, three on one. Jeremiah's gonna lay it up. Nope, they're gonna say it's an offensive foul. Offensive foul on Jeremiah Jacobs, his second. Team first of the third quarter. And we're going to have a timeout. Timeout. We'll take it with them. Back at the word from Gary's Pizza. Gary's Pizza, owned by Gary and Billy Ann Hugel, is located at 1275 West Kaiser in Osceola and has been making pizzas since 1984. With over three decades of experience, you can taste the difference experience makes. Gary specializes in creating your own specialty pizzas, wings and things, sandwiches, calzones, nice variety of starters, and dessert options. Don't forget, Gary's also has shaved ice with over 40 flavors. You can dine in, carry out, or get delivery by calling 870-563-0808. Gary's Pizza is a proud supporter of the Seminole Nation. And we are back. 513 left here in this third quarter. Osceola 45, Pickett 23. Good crowd here at the Palace tonight. The Palace of Northeast Arkansas Seminole Arena. Between your Osceola Seminoles and the Pickett Mohawks. Almost a steal by Bell. Piggy gets it back. Now they're going to drive the lane, try to throw it inside. Here comes a three pointer. It's short. And it's going to go out of bounds and then belong back to OCO. Richard High is going to shoot another one. <laughs> Boy, but he's on fire right now, folks. Richard High is on fire. That's 10 points here in this third quarter. All from the outside. Shot coming for Piggott. It's no good. Jeremiah Jacobs with another board. Richard High is going to shoot another three-point shot. Side iron this time. And it's no good. But Anthony Brown is going to pick up the foul. Be his first. He was over the back. Team second. Folks, uh, Jeremiah Jacobs had three assists and four rebounds in the first half. Kenan Jackson, seven big rebounds in the first half. And 
And Piggott just throws it away that time. So Malone back to Osceola. Jacobs on the left elbow, gonna drive the lane, throws it back out. Brown, Richard High's gonna shoot the three again. In and out, no good. Jacobs got the rebound. Turn around, jumper's no good. There's Richard High, almost had the rebound. Pickett's gonna get it. Three point shot coming, no good. Wilkins has got the rebound. Throws it on up to uh, Tyler Bell. He's going to shoot the three. It's no good. And the Mohawks have the rebound. Throws it down low. Turnaround jumpers up and good. That's uh, Tucker Dunlap. Brown over to Wilkins. Wilkins thought about the three. Now he's going to drive. Throws it uh, inside to Bell. Now they're going to reset it. Three-point shot coming. Missed the shot. There's a steal. And then we got a foul. Foul's on Lucas. That'll be his second. Team third. Shooting two is uh, Richard High here in his third quarter. Misses the first free throw. He's going to get one more. Makes the second. One out of two for Richard High. Man-to-man -man defense. Matchup man-to-man is what you got for Osceola. They throw it inside. Easy layup right there for Dunlap. He's got four points in this uh, third quarter. Tyler Bell. Here comes a three-pointer from Richard High. Off the front iron, no good, but there's Tyler Bell. Now he's going to look to drive. Right on the baseline, the reverse layup is good. Folks, Tyler Bell is so smooth. He is so smooth. Plays the game so easy. It just comes natural. There's a steal. Now to Richard High. Right down the lane with the right hand. Thought about the dunk, but he just lays it up. We'll take it. And again, that's Dunlap. That's his sixth point here in this uh, third quarter. Tucker Dunlap. Richard High once again is going to shoot the three-point shot. It's nothing but net for Richard High. He is putting on a clinic here in this third quarter, folks. 16 points in the third quarter. Look at Tyler Bell right down the lane, and they just, they're going to hammer him. They didn't want him to make the easy layup. They hammer him. Lucas is going to get his third foul. Team four, two shots coming from Tyler Bell. Folks, uh, we want to get out of here with uh, with our players, too. We've got a huge one on Friday. First free throws up and good for Tyler Bell. What I was saying about Tyler Bell a while ago, folks, is he plays the game so easy. I mean, you can tell that this game comes to him. A lot of kids got a high IQ when it comes to certain games that they play, and, and Tyler Bell is one of those. Uh, the game just comes so easy to him. Misses the second free throw. He knows where to be at at all times. He's got a sense for the basketball. He knows where to be at to make the steal. He kind of knows what they're, they're going to do before it happens. I mean, I'm just telling you, the kid has got a great IQ for basketball. He's a good kid also. Foul's going to be on Jeremiah Jacobs. He's going to get his third, team third. They're going to inbound the basketball on the baseline. Knocked out of bounds and it belonged back to Piggy. There's that's what I'm talking about right there, folks. You just saw it. He knew exactly where to be at. There's the assist to Richard High. In and out, no good. And Wilkins tries to get the rebound. He misses the shot. 
And there's Tyler Bell one more time, gets his own rebound, and he's going to lay it up and good. I don't know what else to say. Five points for Tyler Bell right here in this third quarter. Kid, play, look, I mean, he's right there. He knows exactly where to be. Now, he loses the basketball but and throws it away. Uh, but the kid knew exactly where to be at. I mean, he's very quick. He's very smart. I'm just, it's the last time I'll say it. Flat out play the game. Some of those are full of them players. I just love to watch Tyler Bell play. Been watching him play since he was first grade, folks, over at Oak Park. Easy layup on the other end. That's 22. Cole James. They're going to hold for the last shot. 59-31. All Osceola right now in this third quarter. Richard. He's going to take the three-point shot. Misses the shot. And that's going to end the third quarter with your score. Osceola 59, Pickett 31. Take a timeout. We'll be right back. Ed Harshman and Harshman Reynolds located at 202 West Johnson in Osceola can meet all of your residential and storage rental needs. Harshman's has apartments and housing located throughout Osceola and Mississippi County, both furnished and unfurnished, available for rent. You can contact Harshman Reynolds at 870-563-3694. Ed Harshman and Harshman Reynolds are a proud sponsor of Osceola Seminole Athletics and the Seminole Nation. Sandbar Grill is a proud sponsor of the Seminole Nation. The Sandbar Grill is located at 1100 West Kaiser in Osceola and can be reached at 870-563-5700. Sandbar Grill is a family-owned restaurant established in 2007 and features daily lunch specials, certified Angus steaks, seafood, sandwiches, salads, and desserts. Owners Harry and Jeanette Keats are lifelong Osceola residents and welcomes everyone with a smile. The Sandbar Grill is a proud sponsor of Osceola Seminole Athletics. And we are back. Start of the fourth quarter. Osceola has the basketball. Osceola outscores Pickett 21 to 10 in that third quarter, folks. 17 points for Richard High in that third quarter. He was uh, he was leading score. Pickett's gonna have the basketball after the turnover for Osceola. Gets it down on the block. Turnaround jumpers up, no good. Wilkins, good defense right there by him. He's got the rebound. Here he comes, Chris Wilkins. Comes a three-pointer from Jeremiah Jacobs. Side iron, no good. Anthony Brown's got the rebound. It's blocked out of bounds. Also, they have it back. Richard High. Wilkins is going to take the three-point shot off the front iron. No good. Brown's got the rebound. Now Wilkins has got it back. He lays it up. No good. Ball's on the floor. Jeremiah Jacobs picks it up, lays it up, and good. Jeremiah Jacobs. There's a steal by Anthony Brown. Gives it to Richard High. Richard High. Two-hand tomahawk dunk by Richard High. Flat out. Get off the floor there. And Wilkins has got the steal. Throws it on up to uh, Tyler Bell. He throws it up to Richard High with the right hand off the glass. And good, good job right there by Tyler Bell being unselfish, giving up that, uh, that shot. Gets the assist out of it. And there's a steal by Tyler Bell. Cross the timeline to Richard High. Throws it into Chris Wilkins. Lays it off the glass and good. And we've got a whistle. I think we've got a timeout. Going to be a timeout. Time out. We'll take it with them. Back at the word from the Willis Clinic. Have you been feeling off or had the thought your health might be suffering? Please don't ignore the signs and don't wait until it's too late. It's essential to prioritize your health. The Willis Clinic is here to help. The staff members at the Willis Clinic will listen to your concerns. The doctors at the Willis Clinic are easy to speak with, and we are committed to doing everything we can to help you with your health care needs. Please give us a call at 870-563-2545 or visit us at 616 West Lee in Osceola, Arkansas. We love keeping you healthy. The Willis Clinic is a proud supporter of the Seminole Nation. And we are back. 5.53 left in this ball game. Clock is running. They call that the sportsmanship clock. It is going to run the rest of the game, 67 to 31. Just out of uh, respect. 
They're going to run the clock. Folks, uh, while we got just a minute, let's talk a little bit about it. Um, the girls are going to go to Rivercrest on Thursday for two games, a seventh grade game and a, uh, a senior high game starting at five is what I was told. And then on, uh, on Thursday, McDay's going to shoot the three. It's off, no good. Rebound by Osceola's missed. And it's going to go out of bounds and belong to Piggott. Um, the girls play Thursday at Rivercrest, starting at five, two games. And then your boys will be at Rivercrest on Friday, starting at five. Three games starting at five on Friday. It'll be uh, seventh grade, junior high, and high school down at Rivercrest on Friday night. So come out and support your Seminoles. Seminole Nation will be there to bring you the senior high game. Ball goes out of bounds off of Piggott. It's going to belong back to, I'm sorry, off of OCL. It's going to belong back to Piggott. Dunlap. There's a steal by Cotton. And they're going to knock it away from him, get the steal right back. They're letting some stuff go now. They're trying to get this game over with. Got a whistle and a foul. 14 is going to get that foul. That is uh, Jacob Smith, his first, team fourth. Piggott's going to have it on the baseline. Man, and Piggott throws it away. Blowing back to OCL. Next broadcast will be Friday night down at Rivercrest. Between your OCL Seminoles and the Rivercrest coach. Good drive right down the lane. Tyrese James lays it up and good. Come out and support your Seminoles, folks. It's going to be a good one down at Rivercrest. It always is. they got a heck of a basketball team. Only, I believe, one loss on the season. That was in the NEA tournament. Um, Coach Robinson's got a good basketball team full of talent. It ought to be a good one. It always is when these two teams get together. Cotton's going to shoot the three. Back iron, no good. Rebound comes to Osceola. McDay into the corner. Wilkins loses it. And we're going to have a jump ball. It's going to belong to Piggott. Dunlap down low for Piggott. Missed the shot. Missed the shot, get their own rebound. They're going to shoot again. We're going to have a foul. Tyrese James going to get that foul. His first team fifth. Two shots coming from uh, Kaysen Maynard. First free throw is up and good for Maynard. He's going to have one more. Misses the second. Chris Wilkins with the rebound. Cotton on the right elbow. He's going to shoot the three-point shot. Oh, and Davion Cotton. That's his second three of the night, folks. What a beautiful shot he has. Shoots about one-handed. If you watch it, it's, it's amazingly everything's one-handed. Wilkins right down the lane, lays it off the glass and good. Chris Wilkins. And there's a shot. It's up and good by Scudder. He's going to get the and one opportunity. 
Smith's going to get his second team fifth. One shot coming from Caden Scudder. Ain't going to be very much left now. First free throw is, I mean, all the free throws up a good. Three point play successful. McDay across the timeline. He throws it in the corner to Cotton. They're going to guard him. Now he's going to get it reset. Throws it back down there to him. They want to throw it back down there to him. He's going to put it up with the right hand. Almost goes. Cotton's going to have it back. He's going to put it back up and good. He, can, hey, he don't just shoot three-pointers, folks. He can shoot two-pointers, too. Eight points for Antavion Cotton. What a what a game for your Seminoles. What we'll do right now, we're going to let our sponsors get a word in, and then we'll come back with the post-game show here in just a minute. First National Bank of Eastern Arkansas is the official bank and premier sponsor of the Seminole Nation. First National Bank of Eastern Arkansas specializes in all your banking needs, including personal banking, online banking, business banking, savings accounts, loans, CDs, and IRAs. Stop by First National Bank of Eastern Arkansas, located at 1460 West Kaiser in Osceola, and see Bank President Greg Grease and Teller Supervisor Taylor Lucius for all your banking needs. First National Bank of Eastern Arkansas is a proud sponsor of the Seminole Nation and Osceola Seminole Athletics. First National Bank of Eastern Arkansas, member FDIC. Opening this fall is also his newest business, Delta Brew Coffee Company. Delta Brew Coffee Company will be locally owned and community oriented. Delta Brew will be located at the corner of West Kaiser and Mockingbird Lane in beautiful OCL, Arkansas. Delta Brew will have a full menu of coffee including espresso, energy, classics, milkshakes, smoothies, and kids drinks. Delta Brew can't wait to meet all of their customers in Osceola. Delta Brew Coffee is a proud supporter of Osceola Seminole Athletics and the Seminole Nation. Are you thinking about relocating to the Dallas-Fort Worth area in Texas? Do you know someone who wants to relocate? Are you in need of a realtor? If so, contact Anaya Clark for all your real estate needs. You can call or text Anaya at 817-504-2700 or find her on social media and at Anaya.TheRealtor. Anaya Clark Realtor is a proud sponsor of Osceola Seminole Athletics and the Seminole Nation. Roller Swift Funeral Home of Osceola is a proud sponsor of the Seminole Nation and Osceola Seminole Athletics. Located at 2173 U.S. 61 South, Roller Swift Funeral Home specializes in funeral services and helping families with the costs associated with them. For more information, contact them at 870-563-6578 and speak with David Tucker. Roller Swift Funeral Home, with all our respect. American Greetings wants you to join our team. American Greetings is hiring for all positions for their plant located in Osceola, Arkansas. American Greetings offers competitive wage, 401k options, options for health care benefits, and work-life balance. Interested applicants can apply at americangreetings.jobs or scan the QR code. American Greetings is a proud sponsor of Osceola Seminole Athletics and the Seminole Nation. Dr. Tommy Wagner is a candidate for State Senate District 19. Dr. Wagner is passionate about providing quality health care to our communities. Dr. Wagner has conservative values. Dr. Wagner will be dedicated to helping support educators, wants to help families who struggle in current economic situations, and help with infrastructure improvements in our towns. Dr. Wagner is committed to see our communities grow to improve the lives of families that choose to make Arkansas their home. Vote Dr. Tommy Wagner for State Senate District 19 on March 5th. Dr. Tommy Wagner for State Senate District 19 is a proud supporter of also the Seminole Athletics and the Seminole Nation. The OHS Class of 1979 is a proud supporter of the Seminole Nation and Osceola Seminole Athletics. Class of 1979 extends best wishes to Coach Jamie Carter and the 2023 Seminoles. Class alumni Bobby Chalk, Russell Barker, Ollie Collins, Harold James, Jackie Baker, Maurice Cawthon, Rosa McClendon, Marvin Love, Carla Love, Eddie Slayton, Paul Tucker, Zeb Kelly, Lois Hill, Sharon Kimbrough, Graham Kimbrough, Gina Butler, and Dorothy Marshall extends much success as the Seminoles forge another campaign on the road to the rock. The Class of 1979, none better. The Sandbar Grill is a proud sponsor of the Seminole Nation. The Sandbar Grill is located at 1100 West Kaiser in Osceola and can be reached at 870-563-5700. Sandbar Grill is a family-owned restaurant established in 2007 and features daily lunch specials, certified Angus steaks, seafood, sandwiches, salads, and desserts. Owners Harry and Jeanette Keats are lifelong Osceola residents and welcomes everyone with a smile. The Sandbar Grill is a proud sponsor of Osceola Seminole Athletics. Free For Real Bail Bonds Company says we get you out of jail fast for real. 
Free For Real Bail Bonds Company provides quick, fast, and reliable service to their clients who wish to bail their loved ones out of jail to meet their court appearances. We provide services for misdemeanors and felonies with some financing available. Call Mayberry, 763-1999 or 563-1100. You are free for real. Free For Real Bail Bonds Company is a proud supporter of the Seminole Nation and Osceola Seminole Athletics. The Osceola School District is a proud sponsor of the Seminole Nation. The Osceola School District is committed to preparing all students with an equal opportunity to be successful. The Osceola School District is committed to providing an equal opportunity in its educational programs that assure each student of attaining the level of knowledge, skills, ideas, values, and attitudes necessary to achieve the greatest personal development possible. The Osceola School District says, Go Seminole! The Viscase Corporation wishes the Seminoles the best of luck this season. Viscase is now hiring for production, engineering, and maintenance positions. Benefits include, but not limited to, medical, dental, and vision insurance, vacation time, and 401k contributions. Viscase has excellent compensation and training programs for advancement. You can apply on Indeed or call 870-563-3541. Become essential with Viscase. Viscase is a proud sponsor of Osceola Seminole Athletics and the Seminole Nation. Gary's Pizza, owned by Gary and Billy Ann Hugel, is located at 1275 West Kaiser in Osceola and has been making pizzas since 1984. With over three decades of experience, you can taste the difference experience makes. Gary specializes in creating your own or specialty pizzas, wings and things, sandwiches, calzones, nice variety of starters, and dessert options. Don't forget, Gary's also has shaved ice with over 40 flavors. You can dine in, carry out, or get delivery by calling 870-563-0808. Gary's Pizza is a proud supporter of the Seminole Nation. Farm Bureau Insurance Grant Barnett Agent is a proud supporter of Osceola Seminole Athletics. You can call Grant for all your auto, home, and life insurance needs. Farm Bureau also does financing through Farm Bureau Bank. Farm Bureau is located at 3125 West Kaiser in Osceola, and you can reach Grant at 870-563-6561 or 870-316-4212. Farm Bureau Insurance Grant Barnett Agent is a proud sponsor of the Seminole Nation. Have you been feeling off or had the thought your health might be suffering? Please don't ignore the signs and don't wait until it's too late. It's essential to prioritize your health. The Willis Clinic is here to help. The staff members at the Willis Clinic will listen to your concerns. The doctors at the Willis Clinic are easy to speak with and we are committed to doing everything we can to help you with your health care needs. Please give us a call at 870-563-2545 or visit us at 616 West Lee in Osceola, Arkansas. We love keeping you healthy. The Willis Clinic is a proud supporter of the Seminole Nation. Ed Harshman and Harshman Rentals, located at 202 West Johnson in Osceola, can meet all of your residential and storage rental needs. Harshman's has apartments and housing located throughout Osceola and Mississippi County, both furnished and unfurnished, available for rent. You can contact Harshman Rentals at 870-563-3694. Ed Harshman and Harshman Rentals are a proud sponsor of Osceola Seminole Athletics and the Seminole Nation. Mi Piblo Authentic Mexican Restaurant is located at 1720 West Kaiser in Osceola. At Mi Piblo, you can experience the finest Mexican food there is. Mi Piblo is open 10.30 a.m. to 10 p.m. daily and is available for dine-in or carry-out. You can contact Mi Piblo at 870-563-8292. Owner Jose Marquez is an Osceola Seminole alumni and wishes the Osceola Seminoles good luck on the season. Mi Piblo is a proud sponsor of the Seminole Nation and Osceola Seminole Athletics. Bugmobile of Arkansas, located at 408 South Walnut, Noceola, specializes in pest control and termite control for both residential and commercial properties. Owners Oscar and Jade Gonzalez would be happy to come out and give you a free estimate. And you can also contact Bugmobile at 870-563-6811. Bugmobile is a proud sponsor of your Osceola Seminoles and the Seminole Nation. And welcome back to the post-game show. Osceola all over Piggott here tonight, 76-37. Looking at scoring, Osceola outscores Piggott 16-8 to in the first quarter, 22-13 to in the second quarter. Had to lead it to half, 38-21. Big, big, big third quarter for Richard High. We outscore uh, Piggott 21-10 to and then 17-6 to in the fourth quarter. Final score, 76-37. Looking at the... Uh, Leading scores first for Piggott with nine was Caden Scudder with eight, Tucker Dunlap, and with seven, William Lucas. Leading score for your Osceola Seminoles, folks, it is no secret. Um, doesn't surprise me at all. Richard High, 27 points here tonight. 
Can't say enough about that young man. Um, he had 16 in the third quarter alone, just caught fire and just did an excellent job here tonight. Uh, and Tavion Cotton, folks, eight points. He was the, the second leading scorer. Four-year-old still the Seminole basketball team. Uh, got a great story. I know we've already been over that once, but just love to see what this young man brings to the table for this OCL Seminole basketball team. He finishes with eight points. Um, I'm sorry, Tyler Bell is the second leading scorer. He had 11, then Antavion Cotton had eight. Apologize about that. Chris Wilkins finished with seven. And that's your leading scorer. So Richard High, 27. Tyler Bell with 11. And Tavion Cotton with eight. That's your leading scorers for Osceola. Looking at some quick stats here that Miss Smith gave to us. We appreciate her so much. She does so much for our school district, and we appreciate her so much. Um, looking at some game uh, game stats, uh, Seminoles had 37 total rebounds, uh, 16 assists, um, 17 steals, eight turnovers, one block. Uh, shot 40% for the night, 31 out of 70. So, hey. You know, that's, that's not terrible, but that's, we'll take it. We'll take it all day long. Uh, Jeremiah Jacobs uh, had the big highlight tonight, 10 big rebounds, folks. We talked about how much he brings to this team uh, and just does excellent, excellent work. Uh, rebounds on game totals for Piggott, they had 17 to R37. Uh, we had 16 assists to their nine, 17 to their twos on steals. They had 24 turnovers, folks, and that's, you cannot do that right there. They outgot us on blocks. So they had two. We had one. Uh, and uh, field goal percentage for them, they were 15 of uh, 35, which was uh, just not very good on their field goal percentage. So, uh, again, thank Miss Smith so much for, for our extra stats that we just cannot, we don't have enough manpower to keep up with. We appreciate her so much. All right, don't forget, this Thursday night, the Lady Seminoles go to uh, uh, Rivercrest, 5 o'clock start with 7th grade, and then the high school, and then right behind that on Friday night, Starting at 5 o'clock, you'll have your uh, senior varsity Seminoles. They'll start at 5 o'clock with 7th uh, uh, grade, then junior high, and then senior high. Big game for your Osceola Seminoles down at Rivercrest on this Friday night. Come out and support your Seminoles. Folks, I want to thank uh, Gage Eflin for doing a lot of the engineering work here tonight. I uh, want to thank uh, him doing the camera. Oscar Gonzalez was here tonight. One of our main sponsors comes helps us out a lot. We appreciate him for doing what he does for us. And uh, we're going to get out of here. And uh, everybody's ready to go home. They're looking at us. So, folks, we need to wrap this up. We'll be back this Friday. Don't forget, down at Rivercrest for the senior high game. Folks, I'm the voice of the Seminoles, Michael Eflin, saying good night from the Palace of Northeast Arkansas, 76-37.